Larry? Well, a couple of deaths that we had when I was chief, you know. Members or no, patients? People, residents. Yeah. You know. Cool. And my greatest thing, being chief of the fire company here, <clears throat> was the greatest thing that happened to me. Pop? Uh, favorite EHC memory? <laughs> Starting my duty night with Chief Bellinson and Bobby Weselowski. Him and his... Bob just got here for that duty night now. <laughs> <laughs> Him and that clock of his, I don't know how many times I want to throw it against a window. And then when we had a run, me and Bill would be running down the stairs. Bobby had to stop at the urinal on the way out of the bunk room first. He was our driver. But a lot of stories from Billy, you know, on, on our duty night, we'd be up most of the night just, just listening to stories from the old chief. Least favorite? Um, or most memorable call, excuse me. Most memorable calls. Call. A call? The one when you fell on the pool up on the drum and broke your wrist. Oh, that was on Woodcrest. That was on Woodcrest. Wood that was on Woodcrest. Oh, yeah. Wood 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 found a frozen <laughs> pool. Found a frozen pool. I'll blame that on Jerry. That's your most memorable? Okay, the motion carried. No, my uh, most memorable bowl was delivering the baby boy uh, Cornell, I think it was. Oh, was Kit, no. It was up near uh, Ira. It was like 3 in the morning. <coughs> the little baby boy. Uh, you never forget that. It, Least favorite? It's kind of cool. Well, I got a couple good favorites, I got to say. Starting the demolition derby for Eggertsville. Talking to my boss at work. Hey, give us your Torino. We got a driver, we want to put it in Clarence Center. And that's when we started. I think it was like 87, 88. And doing the pig roast. I enjoyed doing, I don't know, what we had, two or three at the old hall. We had a good time doing that. We had a good gang show up. I think I did chicken too one time. That's when the flagpole got bent. You put animals within the animal. <coughs> yeah, that's right. <coughs> And Billy would be there getting the grease on his rye bread. No, it was red. Whatever Good. grease ran out, red on the rye bread. But the least, the least memorable, like Mikey said, the kids, the deceased, our lost brothers. About it. Chief? Most oh, memorable. Jesus, zoom out. Hold on. All right, thank you. Most memorable. Uh, favorite EHC memory? Um, well, I, there's, there are many, but um, the one that comes to mind is uh, during the October storm, how the guys came together and, you know, really did what we needed to do for that week or whatever. You know, that, that was a good pride moment, you know, in my opinion. Um, least memorable, you said. Yeah, would that be the basement fire during the, or the, the house you burned down at that time would be the also? No? Yeah. Okay. The swimming pool? The swimming pool, I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. What's, what's the no, really, really. Calling me on the phone? Probably, probably, like a lot of the guys say, you know, it's more that the calls with the kids, those are mm -hmm. the tough, tougher ones and stuff where, you know, kids don't make it or whatever. That kid on Allenhurst, you know, a couple of years ago. So. Good. Rick? Want to know first. Uh, favorite EHC memory? Probably the night I was sworn in. I, I remember that uh, pretty good. Uh, it was Monday, December 6, 1971. And when I got up there, you go right in the kitchen, you did, were serving dinner and that and everything. You come out, got sworn in, you went right back and finished up. But that was uh, something I remember. You the same no, I think you were about a month after me. It was, it was Belleville and I came in the same night. So that was, uh, I think about that night a lot. I think that's one thing. How many of you guys have gotten in with other people and were the only ones that survive over many years, you know? that Interesting. Uh, most memorable call, Rick? Oh, memorable call. There's been a lot of them. Uh, it seems like, Mike, I've seen a lot of tragedy and um, a lot of stuff that's tough to talk about. And, but there's been a lot of good calls. In the 70s, it was, what's a little different then was we had a lot of fires, which was, you know, a bad thing out there, but it was a good thing for us. And I, I probably learned more in the first five years I was in back in the 70s 
than any other time. But one memorable call that stands out, I was involved in the, our first save with our first defibrillator. It was a call for uh, Herky Moses on Rosemont Drive. Yeah. And uh, the defibrillator was in uh, Steve, Steve was chief. Ray and I were there. We were the first ones there. We did CPR, and then Steve came with the chief's car. I think it was about the size of a car yeah. battery. And we brought him back. He, he lived. It was our first save. So that was, uh, I remember that pretty good. Uh, least memory? Oh, gosh. His favorite memory, just some of the nasty calls. Okay, it's, you know, we st back then in, in the 70s, it's it, we did a lot of extrication, and we didn't even have this extrication stuff. But we had a lot of nasty calls back. A lot then. of torches and yeah. pole cutters. Mm -hmm. Mike, porta power. <laughs> um, most fa favorable haircut. We all saw it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, favorite Eggerson memory. So many, you know, the conventions when we used to go to New York City, uh, we would go there. Uh, you know, I remember being a delegate with Jay one time, and uh, there's a few other times we went. Those were always good. Going out to the beach there with uh, Jerry and Jones a few other, yeah, Jones Beach. Yeah. Losing your glasses. Losing my glasses, yeah. Body surfing. <laughs> Come out and. Or terrorizing the scene, so we shall have to Most memorable Most memorable call, Mike? Uh, that would be the Leduca, Leduca fire. Uh, uh, I was on engine, old engine two with Wally. And it was cold as hell. You can't hear, I couldn't hear a freaking thing because the truck was so loud. And, uh, you know, just going off, uh, going off Bagger Road and that thing, <clears throat> freezing our asses out. The first hydrant we hit was frozen. LeBron and, uh, Let's work a straight. Saratoga. Saratoga. We're we'll running Saratoga. It's frozen. Go back. And then we had a move and we hit another hydrant. That's me right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's him. <coughs> but we hit another hydrant and then uh, I remember going up to the fire and it was, it was just we were there for hours and it was just cooking. Least favorite? Uh, again, the kids. You know, it's tough. Uh, I remember when I first got in, there was a call in Dullwood. A uh, little girl got run over by a town truck. Um, the guy's name was Lasecki that was driving the truck, I remember. And it was terrible. It was a mess. Real bad. That's the one. Okay. George? Uh, favorite memory? Uh, favorite memory? Uh, favorite memory? No, he's at birthday party. I can't. Uh, I have to realize I grew up in Buffalo and just literally. Uh, Moved out to Amherst a couple of months later, joined the host company, so I didn't know anybody from Adam. So I got in, and Winsick was chief, and he says, the told us about the duty night, and he goes, well, we're going to put you on with the distinguished captain. He goes, he's many years experience, a lot of um, experience. Uh, <coughs> Yes, that's that's they're over 50 years old. They haven't seen the do Gary Shaw. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, did my duty now with Gary probably for three years. and It, it is what it is. Uh, most memorable call? Uh, Paul Mikulski. Uh It was a first aid call in the early 80s. And that was before we had any... Um, The ambulance company come automatically. We had a call or whatever, but it was a, uh, a, a car ran into a tree somewhere over on North Bailey. Uh, it was two, three in the morning, and we went out in the rescue truck, and the wounded passenger uh, was plenty of neck injury, so I go into my. Uh, you know, the first aid mode, I went in the back seat and just held the neck until <clears throat> the ambulance put her up. Somebody came with a neck collar, it was for one day. Paul was working at the time for the police department, and uh, the male passenger was complaining too, but I remember looking from the back, Paul's looking in the car underneath the, underneath the seat. I didn't say anything at the time. So they, Get them all bundled up and taken off. 
I saw Paul there. I said, what, what were you doing? What were you looking for? Oh, he goes, hey, we were looking for the car. Apparently, hey. the, there was a loaded hey. gun scenario. Hey. It was a domestic or something. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Come back, baby. Yeah. 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 But it just goes to show you, <coughs> you never know. Least favorite? Too many, sure. um, Too many least favorites? Yeah, I mean, a lot of uh, regret on my part in this behavior. Okay. But, I'm gonna. We're gonna. Just, I'm gonna try to capture everybody's story, but I want to keep the time going too. So if you want to, everyone wants to stay after for a, another chapter. But I'm gonna keep going over to David. Uh, da um, David, uh, most favorite memory. There, there's. I mean, I know I've only been here. I mean, it seems like a, a short time, but it's, Island Park, too, it we just passed reference. nine years. Um, and we talked about brotherhood in the beginning, and something just as Jesus, something just as simple as um, you know, talking about the brotherhood and that we were only here for a year, and the move that we had, the the number of guys that helped out, and there was somebody had passed away from another department, um, and our guys came to me first and said, you know, do you need help before I go to that because I'm going to help you out first. And um, that was just an early memory of, you know, the impact that the, the guys here have. And, and, and I hope that the younger folks, the younger folks realize that and um, do rely on the other people here because it seems like that's kind of disappearing a little bit that they, they don't realize the the camaraderie and the brotherhood here. Um, Most memorable call? There's been a few. Um, one simple one, and it, and it wasn't that long ago, um, and it was just it was cool to see was uh, it was just a simple car fire, but everybody got off, did what they had to do, and I mean it was flawless, and that goes back to those guys training and, and being dedicated. So. Um, that really made Least a favorite? impact. Um, I've had a lot of calls that over my tenure as a whole of the fire service. Because um, a lot of a lot of people don't realize I I started back out in Monroe County in ninety, so I've been doing this for a long, long time and the least favorite calls there's a there's a number of them over the span of my career. All right, Danny? Uh, favorite uh, memory? I'd have to say uh, favorite memory is getting back in the second time. Um, when I left the first time seeing... Hey, sorry, Roger, we haven't gotten to you yet. Seeing the <laughs> I don't have any memories. <laughs> seeing the difference in the hall and how things have changed from the first time I was in. The first time I was in, Kyle was just a fireman. He wasn't even an officer when I left. We went pretty downhill, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made me wonder why I was coming back. <laughs> we call that the simple march. Those of us that had competition. <laughs> wow. Damn. Damn. But yeah, that was that was interesting to see that the ch how it had changed, um, and for the most part, for the better. Call. Um, Memorable call. Uh, I'm sorry. You said it was uh, for the better. Yeah. Who was yeah. chief when you got in? When I got in? The second time? <laughs> well, you were on your way out. Okay. So I really don't count you. Most memorable call. Um, I'd have to say probably my first code, working on my first code. Um, just being able to do compression. Mm -hmm. Least? Uh, anything with kids. Anytime there's kids involved, it's always worst. Mike? Uh, favorite most, memory? Favorite memory? Um, the bushes. Probably the last torque boy of the hose company. Uh, most memorable call, I didn't get to attend because I was getting married. It was a house fire on our Windermere King. We had to leave. Um, Windermere. Half the department was there right. just in the beginning and then. Kyle and I stayed with you. We saw yeah. again at the uh, um, ceremony afterward. Least favorite? Uh, Billy's last couple days. And his funeral and all that stuff. Blur. Kyle? 
Fair memory probably would be the October storm, like Brian said. It was just a good environment. Guys kind of unique because it's a memory for us. Your, what was your memory when you got in the fire company the day after September 11th? That, that was the next day, right? Correct. You wonder what you're getting yourself into, or yeah. different? Uh, most memorable call. Oh. <laughs> when you're chief, they all blend in together, you know. Uh, least fa favorite memory? Well, a couple kids. I remember one when Mike was chief that was a baby call. Okay. Hmm. We wouldn't really remember that. Yeah. Bob? Most memorable call was probably Roses. <laughs> and I remember being on the line with Toad um, in the back door we went in, and they're coming in the front door. The smoke was just spectacular. And Toad goes, Hit the dirt, and the line came across through drywall from the other side, and then we backed out. But it was it was already gone at that point. But we did a lot of work at that fire. We were starting this with the two and a half. Yeah. Yep. That was a uh, that was a big one. No, that's not me. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> oh, Peter. Sorry, wrong brand. <laughs> I type in brand, and that came up. Um, least favorite memory, Bob? Well, not a least favorite, but it was a terrible one. Was uh. My first weekend, we had a, that fatality on Ivyhurst, and Pete was chief, and that was a pretty uh, dramatic incident. And that was uh, Phil Teller's son. Phil yes. Teller's son. Oh, yep. yeah. That car was wrapped around that tree, oh. and uh, he the one passed away, and the other one's critical. It was. Uh, Doc. Our most important memory after uh, my wife died, I had a. Memorial service, a lot of you guys came. You were there, the trailers uh, were there, Toad was there, and that really meant a lot. The night she died, I called Ira. He came over, it was 10 o'clock at night, kissed her. She was lying in the bed where she died, but a pretty meaningful uh, memory. Um, favorite call was Flinny's. <laughs> favorite call. Uh, <laughs> when you went to it. A couple of us didn't, get, didn't go to the get invited to the wedding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they came to this call. It doesn't matter, now he's divorced. He shouldn't have been invited either. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, the fire call comes in, and uh, Gary Schott was the driver, Ira was the officer, and I was the crew. I was off of probation for about two days. I get all, by the time I have my gear on, they've got the the hose hooked up. Iris there. He's wearing the same pair of pants he was wearing now. <laughs> and, uh, this, he had a hat on, but he had his coat open. His pants are on fire. His cinders coming out. I go up and go on my gear. Give me that. And uh, everyone showed up about a half hour uh, later. And Brian showed up. He said, "What the hell are you doing?" I said, "I don't know." What. There's the fire. There's the, the fire water. Out. Doing what you taught us to do. <laughs> um, least favorite memory we had a. Well, a couple of years ago, um, a guy was down, and an old fellow um, cancer patient was down in his bathroom. We had to push the door open to get in, get him out. He's obviously dead. I get into the door, and um, Screech is there doing CPR, and this guy is just obviously dead, a period. He is just dead. I walked in and I said, what are you doing? We're doing CPR and the two, um, the two paramedics are there. I said, what, what's the matter with you? You know, do you have any sense of decency? <coughs> well, you know, we need medical direction. I said, I'm the fucking doctor. Let's stop <laughs> Stop the CPR. This man is dead. <laughs> so they stopped and the guy was cold. He was stone cold. He'd obviously been dead for hours. So that was pretty unpleasant. But they did stop. We never talking to the guy? <laughs> 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 All right. Peter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. 25 years now. Yeah. Favorite EHC memory? Uh, probably In the last six party. months. <laughs> <laughs> the first block party I went to. Mo most memorable call? Um, I haven't been on many, so. Going through the red lights. Yeah.
and least favorite? Anything that you wish we didn't, you didn't go? Okay. Alex? Oh, all right. Uh, favorite memory? Yeah. Uh, I would have to say that was my first call when we had the <coughs> Rescue 7 before we got the Suburban. We had a compartment with the stuffed animals in it. And I think it was, I was with Don and, and Junior. And we went into the house and they said, Alex, go grab a stuffed animal for the kids. You don't want to calm them down or whatever. I was like, all right. So I thought that meant to you know find one of their stuffed animals. So I'm searching for a stuffed animal through this house, and they're outside waiting. I walk out, and they're like, "Where are you? Or where have you been?" And I was getting the stuffed animal. They're like, "From the truck." And I, I never heard the end of it for, for so long. I think that's what I remember. Least favorite? Um, I would say maybe um, my first uh, call there when I went to fatality. Um, the patient's wife had a DNR, and I just had to. I, I mean, it was just it was it was an odd experience going into you know us being a fire department, and first responders, and everything, mm -hmm. knowing that we're there to do you know, what we have to to save the patient or help you know, and then them showing us a DNR, and then we have to stand back and we can't really do anything. So I, I think that's what I'm saying. Okay, Paul. Most memorable. Uh, probably before I was a member, the uh, family picnics up at You get two. You get a most memorable kid experience, so does Ricky, and a most uh, memorable fireman up experience. Up Robert Cleveland. Uh, times after the ball games, watching the guys have a good time, enjoy themselves. Um, as a fireman, um, probably Jerry Humston trying to take me home after the, during the October storm, and all we heard were uh, tree branches uh, cracking and Trying to get down Dalwood one way, Dalwood the other way. Turn around and get back to the firehouse that's through this. Um, least favorable or most memorable call? Um, the, the fires during the October storm. Um, least is uh, the death of my father-in-law. The EMS call for him. Rick? Most favorite kid moment? Oh, so you talked about it earlier, I think. You're working fire when you took your dad's portable? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I unscrewed the antenna and I just listened to it on the big bread box Motorola, the big antenna. Well, I blew out a whole call, you know. I guess I'll watch this, buddy. You know, smoke show and everything. I don't know if it was that night or the next day you and Ray came to my house. We'll pick up the portable, give us the radio. <laughs> Apparently they heard the whole thing. Let's talk about Rescue 7. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, 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 we we didn't. Rick's Kid Sorry. Moment, Chapter 2. Up in the flagpole. That's, uh, that's good memory for you guys. All right, your buddy. Uh, I know back in the 80s when I got a week, we had a lot of MVAs. I mean, more than we do now, but I mean, they're usually bad. I mean, we had one rate, I was the only one at the hall. Um, this guy went right through the fence, right at Main and Maynard, towards Pomeroy Park into the backyard. I mean, the call just came over, I just ran right out. Nothing you can do. I mean, the guy's eyes were wide open. He's staring right at me. I mean, I'll never forget it. And that was like right after I got in. And then we had the one right in front of St. Benedict's. The car hit a tree and all you could see was like his neck up. The whole rest of his body was inside the dashboard. You couldn't even see anything. Those are things you gotta block out and go on with life. I mean, I mean, we don't see that anymore. Luckily for you guys, you don't see that kind of stuff. Rick, Rick, remember when you were real little, what happened one Sunday afternoon? Probably not. It was real little. The telethon? Well. <laughs> don't you remember I came down and got you and took you in the police in the chief's car? We went down to Channel 7. Well, and we went in with Dr. the donation Warner. that we collected here. Being in the police station with Freddie Hammond, they put me in jail. <laughs> <laughs> but I had my father's portable in my hand again anyway. So, Gordy, um, uh, too, too many, too many really uh, good memories. Uh, but a funny one. Uh, 
Mike uh, did it to me, I'll do it to him. We had a Halloween party at the uh, station one. And uh, halfway through the uh, party, mm -hmm. uh, we got a, a car accident, first aid or something like that. Car accident. <clears throat> and we're all dressed up in costumes and clowns, dead people and everything else. Well, we all jump on the, the truck and the, and the first aid race and get down a call. Turns out it's a black couple <laughs> that got his tile up in a car. Mike gets off the, the ambulance and he's dressed in a Ku Klux Klan. So, you know, so to be watching this couple there, and then Mike come running up with, no. his, with his white hood and everything else, <laughs> and there was some bystander there who said, "You guys do this all the time." <laughs> it was just, it was, it was funny. It was, you, you couldn't, you couldn't. Was that the one where the coffin was at the Christ the Halloween party? Yeah, Least favorite, Gordy? <laughs> oh, this was probably the Alan Hurst fire. 92? Yeah, I was still at the. Johnny? Especially when we found out that it was Cause. the wrong. Yeah. yeah. Johnny, I didn't forget about you. Favorite memory? Um. I don't have one. It's probably a compilation of many. Um, just getting to know everybody here. Uh, definitely becoming my second family. Uh, from you know talking about trains with Rick, or I got a couple chances to do woodworking with Iyer in his basement. Uh, I could probably go around the room twice and say a story, but I read teach you to whittle. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did a couple. Um, what was the next one? Fa uh, favorite call. Is it? It was like my second call being here, uh, which set up. There's a car fire up on LeBron and Eggert, and Ira was driving the old engine three, and I think, I don't know who was up front, but it was me, my father, and Doc were in the back. And it was very cool and humbling to see what we do here, and uh, um, you know, to be with my father. I was, I was right up there with your, your dad, and and John said, this car could blow up. I said, no, cars don't blow up when they're, in f when they're in fire. And then I said, no, wait a minute. Maybe that's natural gas escaping from a hole. <laughs> Maybe it could, but by then it was out. It took us about, I'd say, about three minutes to put that fire out. Senior had his good socks on for that moment. <laughs> Fa uh, least favorite? Um, probably... I'd I don't know, I have a couple that I don't like to talk about, but maybe that little girl on Allenhurst a few years ago that turned out to be a... Uh, Abuse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That really got me for a while, but... Okay. Yeah. Cool. Paul? Favorite moment? Uh, so many, boss, uh, basically the, the camaraderie. I mean, uh, first of all, my wife is Gordy's sister, so meeting her through Gordy, through we best friends, or still best friends, uh, moving the guys, moving Mike into his apartment on Agate Road there, pictures I passed around that I moved, guys moved me into my house on the mountain when I was in the district, um, and then being a cop and going to the calls and seeing the guys from a different perspective, working on the, out, on the outside looking in, opposed to working with the guys. Uh, I, Most favorite call? Yeah, my favorite call, probably the most memorable, is the fires we had in the old days. We had, you know, the Wayside Nursery was probably my first time I pumped the truck. We had the old 68 Mac. And the truck was so covered with, we had the deluge gun set up. It was just a surround and drown fire. We just had the, and I, the whole front of the cab, just, I just had the truck with the heater on, and the pump just ran itself. It was just such a bad fire. I, uh, and they rode there, the mean guys fire, the Mother's Day morning was the second one where we all had Mother's Day stuff going on and go to the fires and just in the car crashes and a lot of stuff going on. Least favorite? I gotta tell a good story though, it's not a least yes. favorite, but uh, we had the car crash insulation dinner. Remember the one Bailey and Eckert or Bailey and Grover Cleveland? 
for the TV <laughs> store. Where the car drove into the TV shop there, it's next to the uh, oh. Pizza Hut. He's always if the car is going down south <coughs> and not or Grover, not making the turn. This car buried itself right inside the TV yes. store in the basement there. And John Ruffin was not here, but he had a deceased person in the back seat. We we're all trying to wait for the Emmy to get there to get this body out. And John's in the back seat trying to help the Emmy get the body out. And you hear the scream from the back seat of the car. Well, it turned out John thought the woman's head fell off. She had a wig on. So they're trying to move the body in the back seat, and then John sees the wind come off and think it's the girl's head. Oh my God. You were there too? John? Yeah. Well, I remember John, I remember, we were all kind of like, uh, had a few adult beverages before that. So I'm off the record. We're laughing. Or the ME was worse. I don't remember the ME, but just, you know, after installation, did our. You guys, you guys used to sit on bodies for a while waiting for oh, yeah. the police. Or, now we, we pick up and call the day. Wow. And my most least favorite, the first time I did mouth to mouth on somebody, I did it once in the whole, so many years I was acting. Way back in the day before you had anybody with the oxygen units, I was going to see him do mouth to mouth on a guy. You see here if the lips quiver? ST37. Remember the ST37? Yeah, septic stuff we used to carry in the truck? It was ST37. What would you yeah, do, swish it? I swish around my mouth for about two days after that. It just, it, the guy was dead, too. Was dead. So. All right. Toad Man? Um, favorite? <laughs> Thing that I have from memory is just um, helping each other out here. More importantly, because uh, if we can't help each other, we got no business helping the public. And uh, going to Bob Pump's house, doing his roof when he had cancer, doing Kali's roof, helping Gary Shout move. Uh, most recently, recently, uh, just going over to George's house, doing a couple windows and moving the couch out. And there's so many other, and you know, people at Brandon's house, there was a slew of people over there to help him literally raise his roof. And, and being able to count on the brotherhood here is just unexplainable. I mean, you guys know it, but the right general public has no idea. And uh, meeting my best friends here is just, you know, and you said going on vacations and weddings, and it's just, I wouldn't trade this shit for the world. Other than my wife and daughter. But uh, you guys are, are very close second. Uh, favorite call? I don't know that I have a favorite call. Um, I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I got sprayed on the truck the first time. You know, the house I live in now, we saw uh, the, there was a lightning strike and it blew the guy out of the shitter. That was <laughs> weird. And literally, and I bought the house. You know. <laughs> So I think I was doing a home inspection while I, uh, <laughs> during the call, but uh, screaming down that Mater Hill, uh, you know, in the old one and two, well, for me, the old one and two, the CFs, was just incredible. Whether it was a summer night or a freezing cold winter night, you can't, unless you've done it, and from what these guys tell me right now, Beaver Tail is even better. I was waiting for someone to say Beaver Tail. It hasn't come up yet. Excellent. It, once, but it, it would. I just took me and it was when we were getting cold. Least? Hearing your stories. Um, we all have those, you know, shitty calls. But, uh, the only reason I'm going to bring up this one is because uh, my daughter was in the car and we had a car accident on Edgar Road. And it was like a tornado. You could see the debris, debris trail. And I pull up to the house and uh, Bridge goes, Dad, I think that's Iris' car. And it was. And I didn't know what I was going to see there, but that, that, that sucked. It was, it was pretty shitty. But uh, one of the worst moments I had around here was when I slept through a call with my good buddy John Patino. Not together. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and the fire chief at the time came in and literally smacked us and gave us a spanking feed alert. And that was the last time I ever did that. Slept through it. Yeah, I just, I never came up again because I was afraid Peter was going to beat me. <laughs> cool. A couple of fines for when you slept through a call, didn't you? Uh, we didn't get fined. We, well, I mean, back no. when it was a duty night. I mean, uh, our fannies were red. He gave us a trick. Yeah, and uh, John got more of it because he was on probation. I wasn't. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. But uh, I love this place. Love you guys. It's, I mean... Who would think that you could be friends with somebody that's 71 years old down to, you know, 18 just joining this place? You know, it's such a broad spectrum. 
you know, good memories, uh, good friend of mine, Dave. DJ's, you know, joining here was pretty cool, and then moving away and coming back, you know, so obviously this place meant a lot to him, and it shows to all of us who it does. That's it. That's cool, all. man. Dave? Uh, some of the, uh, in general, the happy memories I have is first and foremost joining here. Uh, Eggersville, like many of us, it's, it's a home away from home. And, and I can look at it from my perspective of both military and police. This rates up there at the very top, uh, even with those organizations. Just all the, uh, the friendships I've developed over the years, it means a lot. On, um, on calls, sometimes I found out that we would leave a call in just uh, doing something that we would consider insignificant. And uh, months or years later would go by and you would bump into someone, hey, I remember that you were at this call, you helped a family member out, you said this to us, and we still remember that to this day. And uh, that, that really goes a long way. We probably forgot about the call, but they have it. And that makes a big difference. I know we always strive for that here. And uh, some of the, the least favorite calls or is sometimes having the feeling that no matter our very best efforts, you know, sometimes it's not good enough. Um, we always strive for the very best, but sometimes we can't reach, you know, what that goal is on, on calls. I, I remember one call that, that I remember, um, it was a gentleman who was going up on Bailey Avenue on his motorcycle. It was a little bit later, um, the street lights, uh, the sun had just gone down, and uh, the landscape truck uh, going up Bailey toward um, Main Street dropped some landscape ties in the street, and he was able to avoid a few of those, but unfortunately he had one trying to work his way around it. Unfortunately, he hit the uh, railroad tie and uh, we were able to comfort him as long as we could at the scene uh, until the, you know, uh, the rest of our, you know, team showed up and he was able to go to the hospital. Um, unfortunately, he didn't make it, but I, I feel comfortable with the fact that while I was there, that at least I offered him some comfort. Um, and other memories I have, night duty. Always, uh, usually when you're new in the company, they, they try to sign you with a senior member, the fire chief. And I believe that one night, uh, it was with Nelson So 